Yo, what is up guys forever here and today we are looking at new world of training we've got a bit of news from the amazon team here and it's just information based on the open beta that's going to be happening in the next month exactly 29 days from now so we are getting an open beta that's going to be starting september 13th and ending on september 16th 9 a.m pacific time on both sides and it's going to be cross play between pc playstation and xbox Regions are North America, South America, Europe, and APAC. Not sure what APAC stands for. Uh, players are going to be able to preload starting on September 11th at 9 a.m. And they will have rewards that we can get from reaching certain milestones from the beta. We'll go over those down here. The level cap in the open beta will be stopped at 30. However, the actual in-game cap when the game launches is going to be, I think, 65, I want to say. If I remember correctly, it's 65. I haven't played New World since the beginning when, when the level cap was 60, so I don't know. You're going to have to correct me on that one. Now, um, going on to the items that you get from from doing the beta. Uh, for getting, for even just participating in beta, you're going to get the Attorney and Trailblazer. Um, for leveling a character to 10, you're going to get the Van Bricks of Attorney and Adventure, Adventurers. Uh, from getting here to 15, you're going to get the Jack Boots of Attorney and Adventurer. Um, Legwear for healing level 20, and then you're going to get the headwear and then the great coat or rather the chest wear for region level 25 and nothing for level 30 apparently um so this is everything you see here that you're going to get except for the weapon i'm guessing there's no weapons going to accompany with that um so this is what you're going to get i'm going to guess this is what they're showing off because if it's not then there's no point in them showing off this random set of armor um <laughs> but it's going to be purely cosmetic new world's items don't have stats on their cosmetics uh, so yeah, that's gonna be there for that Now what's gonna be available in the beta is uh, We're gonna be able to get to PvP because um, PvP opens at level 20. It's gonna be 3v3 uh, We're gonna get the first dungeon at level 25, which is fine uh, People are gonna be able to experience what the dungeons like in New World We're gonna get mounts and mounts open up at level 20, which is great I didn't get mounts when I played New World because mounts weren't out around that time I believe they came in the Anger Earth expansion and then factions open up at level 17, so you'll be able to see what the faction um, bonuses and stuff are like. There's faction missions, all the, all the little extra stuff. And then influence races, um, capture town, influence towers, capture influence towers, and strike enemy factions, open world PvP, combat, for territorial supremacy. And so this is just another little event that happens. I think it happens like um, multiple times during the day, if I'm correct, if I'm incorrect. If I am being correct, I can't speak today. But yeah, but also pre-order for the pre-order bonus is the Azov Star uh, Stalker Wolf Mount. So if you want to go ahead and pre-order for that, then go ahead and do that. But uh, yeah, New World Eternum is going to be coming to console for an open beta in PC if you guys want to join from that end um, on September 13th. And I'm super excited because this actually lets people play the game and get, get the hype built up for when the game launches. I feel like a lot of people on console... Are gonna be happy for this game. I feel like this game should have been a console game when it first came out. I felt like they should have released for console immediately, but um, I don't think the PlayStation 4 had the power they were looking for to back uh, this game when it did come out. And so now they have the PS5 that is able to probably run this power. Uh, but they did have a closed beta, the closed technical test a few weeks ago, I believe. Right? I think so. I think it was a few weeks ago. Um, so whatever happened from that, I hope and I pray. That they do add this one feature I've been saying for the longest time since I played New World originally um, is that when you press the weapon to do a skill, when you press the button to do a skill, you swap between your weapons instead of having to switch weapons to do a skill because that would make the game so much more enjoyable and make the combat feel a lot more flawless and I just feel like it would be a lot better when it comes to just gameplay period, but who knows if they'll do something like that? It might upset the balance of gameplay. Who knows what, what what will come from that? Um, I'll keep putting it in the feedbacks whenever I see feedback things on um from Amazon because I do get them often for um for Amazon uh, games. But yeah, so let me know what you guys think when it comes to uh, New World a Tournament. Are you gonna be playing New World Tournament? Are you gonna be playing on console? Are you gonna be playing on PC? Uh, are you an old player playing from PC coming back? Um, I know there are a few players that I saw on the Discord, um, actually, they they were um, from PC coming to console, and they retired their PC, so they're playing on console now, so that's going to be, that's kind of where I'm at right now, I retired my PC because of a lot of, um, 
complications coming in with my PC back in the time. But anyway, stop rambling. Thank you guys for watching. That's pretty much it for the video. It's been forever and peace out. I'll catch you guys in the future. Peace.